Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, October 26th. Something like that. I want to say it's the 26th. And uh, we got a pretty exciting day today. I figured I would do a vlog for you guys. Uh, we did a PC build video um, earlier this week on Tuesday. So I figured I might as well give you guys uh, a little bit different style of content. Because I do want to do another PC build video. I have another one ready to go. Um, I just need to record it. So... Figured my look if you guys a vlog. I mean, I got a pretty exciting day, so we have school, but it's only gonna be um, a couple hours. I'll get out, I'll get out at like 12:30 ish, 12 something like that. Um, I want to say actually, I'm pretty sure it's actually like 12:16, 12:15, 12. I don't know. I'll, I'll be out by 12:30 for sure, um, and then I'm gonna go home get some work done and then got to go uh, for an eye appointment checking up on this eye again if you watched uh, one of my last vlogs that I did a couple months ago uh, it's probably more than a couple months but um, my messed up eye so I got an appointment on that and then after that uh, we have a scheduled haircut I think I'm gonna try something new so we'll see what happens but today's gonna be a pretty exciting day and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride so Sit back, relax, and here we go. All right, so I just finished up a paper right there. Um, but nothing really interesting happened today so far. Uh, just kind of grinding through the day. If there's anything interesting in class, I'll record it, but probably not going to be anything too much. Um, just kind of want to get home and get working because I've got a lot in my mind, a lot of stuff blowing up my phone right now. So hopefully we can get to that. Free at last, free at last. We are done with school. All these other cars here, most of the people here in school still have about 20, 25 minutes of class left. But um, I'm getting out of here a little bit early because I have lunch as my last thing. I have all my classes then lunch, or some people have lunch first and then the other last class. So I'm getting out of here. As a senior, I can leave for lunch, so I'm getting out of here real quick. So the rest of the day, um, got some some basic things to do. We gotta go uh, for an eye appointment, then I'm gonna get my hair cut, get a nice nice new look going, I think. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, I should probably figure that out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and get some work done, probably relax, make some food. And uh, yeah, so let's kind of see what I can come up with food-wise for lunch. All right, so we got, for lunch, we got a flatbread sandwich here. Pepperoni, salami, and cheese, pretty good. And some barbecue chips. I usually don't eat chips, but not a whole lot of groceries in the house right now, so I, mean, I went with that as the side to the flatbread sandwich. Pretty, pretty superb cooking, if I do say so myself. All right, guys, so we just got back from the eye doctor. Unfortunately, I did have to get a shot in my eye. I'm wearing sunglasses right now. My eye is kind of closed. Because it's it's not it's not feeling good. Um, Novocaine and then the actual steroid injection. You know, shots nice. So then it's like seen in like horror films. And while it's not that bad, it still is like it's a very dull pain, and it just kind of you get super dizzy. And when you first get the shot, your vision just completely goes blank because your eye like has to adjust to how much you know like the, like the start being your eye and how much fluids are actually in your eye. Um, like your vision like literally goes black and I, I freak out almost every time just because it's it's such a disorienting feeling so anyway I'm sitting in my mom's car right now. She's driving me because I can't drive right now because I'm, I'm super blind um, She's getting groceries in the grocery store right now, and then she's gonna take me by Chipotle I'm gonna get some Chipotle because you know The chorizo is really good and then haircut time after that So we'll see what my haircut ends up being but uh, I'm kind of excited. That's why my eye just stopped hurting That's really all all I want Right now, hopefully it gets better in the next day or two and we'll be good to go. All, All right, so this is a this is a crazy transformation here. Um, wow, like I am loving this haircut. Um, I I showed the person that cuts my hair a picture of Kenny S from I want to say last year. I, I when it comes to shorter haircuts, I love what Kenny S has going. I'm not quite the Euro cut, but um, not quite a Euro cut, but I mean, it's 
I mean, I guess technically it is because, you know, he's, you know, from Europe, whatever. A little bit more volume than what I would think of traditional Euro cut. Anyway, back at home, my eye still really hurts. It's really bloodshot, if I can show you guys. Um, like, that's that's my eye right there. Really, 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 really bloodshot from the uh, the shot. Uh, we So, I can elaborate on that a little bit more. So, we had um, numbing, like, goop almost that numbed my eye, which numbed it enough to do the Novocaine shot, which wasn't really numbed at all. Um, I can still feel the, the, the shot pretty pretty uh, solid on that one. Then the Novocaine numbed it really well. So, I mean, the shot, honestly, didn't really feel it at all. I mean, it still hurts. It's like it feels swollen and it hurts, but the steroid is supposed to help it a lot. Um, it helped for about 10 months. Um, the last time I got this shot, it was in February. So, Definitely some improvement there. Um, I mean, if this is what I have to do to give, you know, to make my left eye work, uh, it's, it's like a shot like every nine, ten months. I mean, that's that's what we got to do, and I'll, I'm perfectly fine with that. So I want to talk about a little bit more because I feel like I didn't describe it accurately earlier. So, um, like I said, you know, we started off dilating it, you know, whatever, get it ready. Um, took, here we go took x-rays of the, not x-ray, but like scanned the back of my eye to look at it. I, I'll put up pictures of what the back of my eye looked like in December of last year, then February following the shot. February was the first checkup of the, the shot that I got in December. And then we just checked it again and it looked like this. And then we got the shot. So hopefully it looks better again. And it looks normal. It's supposed to be just a regular dip. This is the, these pictures of the back of my eye, right? There's not supposed to be a big, uh, buildup of fluid like there is in the pictures. It's supposed to be pretty, pretty smooth and flat on uh, the back of my eyes. So hopefully this helps. Uh, and then when I got the shot, the vision of my left eye slowly went black because my eye was adjusting to the new conditions that the steroid added. Uh, it's, that's the way my doctor described it. Um, it's it happened the last time too, and I freaked out last time. I still kind of freaked out this time. Um, I was pretty calm about it uh, at first, and then my body, like my like brain, started like overthinking it and uh, worrying about it a lot um, because you know your vision is not supposed to be black, right? Like like I could feel my eye was open, and it was just black. And then he also put something in my eye to like wash it out a little bit because uh, like like the the numbing like goop and stuff that was in there. Um, he like washed out my eye i couldn't see anything when i could feel him holding my eye open right so there's something super wrong about that and that's kind of why I, I got super lightheaded because my brain was just like this is not right something's not right we need to fix this you know i don't know how to fix this something's wrong right so um anyway long story short uh if you ever want to know the shot hurts uh vision goes black in that eye for about 10 minutes, uh, I would say five, 10 minutes. It, it starts coming back after about five and then you fully back after 10. Um, and then your eyes are super dilated for the most part and it still hurts because of this. I mean, you can, you can see it's super like bloody. Like, I mean, this eye, if I can, I don't know how to hold this. So like normal, super irritated, right? So it still hurts, but it'll go away after about a week. Um, but you know, coach disease is lit fam phase up, right? So, um, yeah, if you don't, don't Google image coast disease, by the way, it's disgusting. Uh, it's, it's, it's an awful thing and, uh, I'm just blessed to have it. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to go to sleep right now. My eye kind of hurts. So I kind of just want to like sit down, put on some Netflix, close my eye and watch Netflix and go to sleep soon. I'm really liking the haircut. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, it's been an interesting day, guys. If you have any questions about the day or about the eye procedure or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more vlogs, let me know in the future. Uh, or let me know in the comments and I'll see if I'm gonna make more vlogs in the future. Vlogging school is hard, man. Like, I'm gonna go on a little tangent real quick. Vlogging school is hard because School is boring. It's the same thing every single day. And if you're in school, you basically know what my day is like. So days where I don't do things, like get my hair cut, which looks amazing. Um, or, you know, have my eye poked at and all that. It's just a boring day, man. I go to school, I come home, and usually play video games or hop in Skype meetings, that kind of stuff. Like nothing that's interesting for vlog content. So um, for people that say, you know, you should do more daily, like you should do daily vlogs. I've seen a couple of those comments before on other vlogs. And people like uh, things to me on Twitter. I can't right now. Um, once, once I graduate in January and the plan gets executed there, which I'll talk about in a later video once everything's finalized and official. 
I'll probably do daily vlogs because I won't be in school and I'll have like interesting stuff to do every single day and that you guys would want to watch. But honestly, school is boring. So I don't, I don't want to put you guys through that. But anyway, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a good day following along with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I can't end the vlog here. I just have to say, I put on a headset just now because I haven't done that yet with a new haircut. And this feels so weird to have like the headset touching my head and not my hair. Like this is crazy. I just thought I'd add that in real quick because I, I don't know if I said this, but I haven't had my hair changed in 10 years. I've had that, that long uh, hair with the swish on the ends for 10 years. It's like second grade when I started growing that out. Um, and then I get it trimmed, you know, like every like month, six weeks, whatever. Um, but I've had that hairstyle for like 10 years. So this is insane. Like I've never, I've never had a headset when my, when my hair is like this, like my hair, like before kin like kindergarten, first grade, second grade, my hair was like, you know, I, I had like buzzed hair and I had hair like, like a little bit of hair on the top, whatever. I've never had a headset. This is, it, this is such an insane feeling. So I thought I'd add that right to the end of the vlog because that, that just made my day. I'm just like, whoa, that feels so good. Like this is incredible. So anyway, end of the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Camille. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.